speaking of uh, different worlds, let's then talk about different universes because Fantastic Four, by all accounts, is set in another universe. It's a multiverse film. It will not be set in the MCU proper. Yep. Yeah. Um. So this, to me, is sort of a best case scenario for how you set the stakes super high, establish a world that maybe has a lot of other variants that we could get into and see some fun things, right? Like, oh, look at this world's Iron Man or whatever, right? Like, you could play around with that while showing us the Fantastic Four, show us the destructive power of the Surfer and Galactus, and then, hey, here you go. It's part of the bigger multiverse and they're in the MCU. So you kind of, like, acknowledge the existence of all the other multiverses again, you know, the other Fantastic Mm -hmm. Four teams. Like, it's a fun... Fantastic Four, at its core, is a fun, pulpy romp through the Marvel Universe and Cosmos and usually time and space. That's what Reed Richards does. To me, this checks off all the boxes for Fantastic Four. So, I mean... Especially with like the art style they're going for, or at least that they're uh-huh. putting out. It's that like retro futuristic sixties. Yeah, yeah. Sort of look. And it's you know what I'm I'm here for it. Yeah. It's my my thing is it, it just makes so much sense. You, you look at the whole Silver Surfer casting thing, you, you look at Galactus, you no, know, Galactus' whole origin is he comes from a different iteration of the six one six, right? So mm-hmm. hey, we just slightly tweak that to be from a multiverse. They apply that to everyone, and hey, there you go, you got your movie. Yeah. I'm just wondering if he's like gonna be is, like. I wanted to know is it like he's is he gonna still be the guy in the purple suit? Because if he's not got the big pointy hat, go hmm. um just for the big lols. Go for the ultimate version and have him be because, swarm. Yeah. Because the the in can in the canon reason is because. Uh, every sentient being sees him differently, so it, so he could be technically true, yeah. in that yeah. and something else when they pan the camera from looking at a different person's point of view, which would be kind of interesting to see. I say that'd be an interesting way of doing it. Like, How did you pull that off without confusing everyone yeah. to think there's different people? But uh, especially just having been the camera and be like, I'm the same one. Yeah, I appear <laughs> differently. Do everything. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they got so I think much... you do stuff slightly different in this movie. Yeah. Before Secret Wars, and then once Secret Wars happens, it's like, hey, here's... We get to repeat the same shtick again with Galactus and Surfer, but they're slightly different now. Mm-hmm. They're more like you want to see them. Yeah, exactly. It's They have a chance here to subvert some expectations, but do things differently focus on this whole multiverse thing again by the end of this their universe 100 is getting destroyed show us the destructive power of what will happen to the mcu universe if they don't stop yeah. an incursion like this film has that ability along with deadpool and a couple others to show us like how horrific it is when you're alive in the middle of a universe collapse <laughs> you want to see people die of an explosion of that huge of a magnitude? yes yes <laughs> yes because we we need to see at least one right because they've only ever yeah. just said oh there's an incursion how you caused an incursion strange well we never saw anything right and it's like the marvel is like hey there's a different planet over there it's an incursion well, nothing really ever happens mm-hmm. like, to actually you got to set the stakes for mm. Secret Wars, right? So let's actually mm. have one happen properly. I just like if they, if they do that during like Secret, Secret Wars, uh, I would uh, want to, uh, almost, was, yeah, I would want to see uh, Namor be there and actually be one of the I ones mean, that cause it. You could very easily have Namor in the Fantastic Four movie. Oh, no, not that, not that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a slightly different <laughs> act of playing no more and <laughs> dang, there you go. I mean it, they should honestly add Namor to the Fantastic Four. Same actor, just have him actually like in there, kind of tease a Sue Storm thing. <laughs> uh, yes, a hundred percent. They should just have everyone in there. Have like just show you should, if it is a well, I say if it is, it's, it's clearly a different reality. Like have have their doom, 
ha- have their mole man, have literally every fantastic four villain that you're either not going to use going forward or you want to set up and then just go forward with that. Yeah. And have I their mean, movie just be this crazy all out brawl with everyone. Give me a nihilist, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It, man, do you save a nihilist? It, honestly, I don't care. You can do them. Um, don't give us a female a nihilist and give us a male one in the MCU. <laughs> there you go. Make this the split the difference. Give us. Give us name. They're, they're never going to do Annihilation Conquest as much as it hurts me to say that yeah. out loud. So just just doing it's at least doing that. Just, they, give me the, yeah. the cosmic the cosmic rod, whatever the hell he has on his on his neck. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that they split the difference again? Save robot Galactus for MCU and do swarm Galactus for Fantastic Four? Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, I, I think you kind of got it because yeah. if you show us Galactus that way in his first time, you take away a lot of. Hey, he's yeah. coming in the MCU. Like you can't do the same exact one. So unless it's back to front, we have the 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 cheesy, the typical Galactus everyone wants in the sixties futuristic Fantastic uh-huh. Four first movie, and then when he's in the MCU, they they do the. We, we, we can't be accurate anymore for some right. whatever reason. So let's just make it a swarm of bugs. They do the bug swarm Borg type Star Trek. And then you could yeah. have him form a giant Galactus robot that looks just different enough. Because yeah. we've seen with Celestials, we can do giant floating robots in space now. So like, yep, you know, it's not that they're ever going to acknowledge that again. <laughs> Don't worry. The next Thor film, they'll fly by them again. They'll just look at the camera oh. and go, oh. Again. That wasn't That's even it. like the actual one. But, oh, I man. know. No. That was sad. Uh, oh, we're going full Jack Kirby. My ass, you are. Yeah, you are. Oh, there it is. That's, that was something. That was something. Can't well, get the Kirby crackling one damn thing. Yeah. We'll see what they do with the Fantastic yeah. Four when the time comes, I guess. So, um, I'm excited no. for it. It makes a lot of sense with all the stuff they put out there. Why it's like a different reality exactly i assume the next one they're blatantly going to call it future foundation because we can't be the fantastic four in this universe anymore (laughs) i could see that yeah i could see that 